Spark TV. Metal in Action. Mexico. <laughs> Yeah, it's the right concert. <laughs> it's here. Okay, it's not Katy Perry. Okay. It's not Katy Perry. And I'm from Ukraine. <laughs> Mexico. Ukraine. Yeah, it's so far away. Well, yes, but I just think. Crazy. I just think. <laughs> why not? If I can see them both times, and I'm just right here. Okay, why to see them two times in a year? So I'm really glad to be here. And I like also Prague. Hey Czech fans, we have to say that uh, you decided to record uh, today's show uh, for maybe DVD. So just why Prague? Um, it was it was a decision that was made very spontaneously, like two days ago. We know. We just we just we just made the decision. Let's record this. We don't know if it's going to be a DVD or not, or what it is going to be. But we just thought the show is so good. We're in such great shape. Um, we play over three hours. Uh, it's a, it's a nice venue. It's one of the most of the best venue, concert venues these days in whole Europe. So uh, with that size, I mean, of course, there's a couple of arenas in Europe that we're playing, but that, it's a 4,000 people, it's a small arena, but it's packed, it's, I think it's cozy and a great atmosphere to be doing something like that. That's what people said. So we said, okay, let's just capture this show. It and of course, of course, I have to say, and this is not kissing ass, uh, the Czech audience is always pretty amazing. <laughs> <laughs> that's, I mean, no, that, that's true. That's true. We played Masters of Rock, I think, three or four times, mm. uh, six or seven times, including Ed Guy. And it's always been amazing. So um, it's not very, uh, it's not much risk to be recording a show here because we know the audience is going to be great. Yeah, of course. So yeah, we'll, you will be on uh, Masters of Rock Festival uh, this year once again. So it sounds like that uh, Masters of Rock Festival is something like a uh, home place home. for you for playing. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, uh, the, the organizers of the festival are, are very, very nice and uh, we've always been there. Um, it's always been going down really well there. It's a great festival, it's a great atmosphere, everything is very nice, people are nice, the audience is amazing. So yeah, uh, whenever they ask us to be back, we come. <laughs> it's just like we have this, uh, we have, uh, you know, this um, season ticket, you know, for 20 years, whatever. <laughs> Yeah, of course, I have to ask you about Eurovision, Eurovision, uh, Eurovision. So, what is your experience after it all with it? Um, it was different. It was different from anything I had done before. I mean, I've done TV things before, but it was very, very, um, well, it was not very rock and roll, to okay. put it this way. But it was great. Nice people, uh, great big audience, many people watching it. Um, we reached a lot of new people. It's not our type of place. <laughs> it's been great. I would do it again, but now that I've done it, I think we don't have to do it again. And Mr. of Blood Red Rose was your first choice for this? Yeah, because it was the first single, and uh, we didn't want to write a song for it. And we said, okay, this song is out. It's a it's a single. People know it. Uh, we have a video for it. It's being promoted. It was out there before the album came out. So we said, okay, let's just stick with it and push the single even further. So that was why we took that song. This is my invitation to all of you. Come to Masters of Rock 2016. Avantasia is going to headline one of the best festivals in the whole universe. And uh, you'll be there. I'll be there. It's going to be a great party. So see you there. Masters of Rock 216. Spark TV. Metal in action.